Hello and welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today's special episode, a what if question. Let's start out, what if Leo was the one who fell into the crevice and his brother Mike became the true Red Ranger of the Lost Galaxy Power Rangers? What would have happened? Now, as I was watching the episodes again of Lost Galaxies 1 and 2 doing some research for the Quasar Sabers, I had a epiphany. And what would have happened if instead of Mike falling into the crevice, it would have been Leo who fell to his death and would have been saved later on by the Magnum Defender? Well, let's get right to it, guys. What would you guys want to think? Go ahead, put your thoughts in the comments below before you even get past this. Okay, so let's go further. What would have happened? Mike was willing to self-sacrifice himself immediately to save his brother because he knew his legacy would continue on as long as his brother was alive. He also knew that his brother could be worthy of the blade or being a hero. He could see it, but he just never pushed towards it and Mike gave himself up. Now imagine if it was reversed. Leo was kind of still rambunctious hot-headed, and maybe a little resentful towards his brother for leaving him behind on Earth. He didn't want to leave Earth. He had, I mean, he didn't want to be left behind on Earth. He snuck aboard the ship and got on there, pretending to be all these different things. Kind of like a little, a little judgy for a character. Like, not really judge, I'm sorry, not, the word judgy is not the word, but a little rambunctious for a Red Ranger. He was willing to break the law, apparently, guys, so think on that. Now, I can easily figure out what Mike would have done. He would have led the team as the Red Ranger very well. He was already a leadership material and proved it many times over. Now, I think he would have been looking for his brother no matter what would have happened. And when the Magnet Defender would have arrived, I think it would have been much more interesting because it is not the same type of character his younger brother, more hot-headed, would have been. He may have, would have said it at first, but I think the true Magnet Defender would have possessed Leo entirely playing on his emotion and his need for vengeance because I don't think Leo would have self-sacrificed himself like that like his brother did immediately he would have been crying out and falling to his death Magnifero would have saved him and possessed his body and became a spirit of vengeance from then on out been very different type of scenario playing out there guys can you imagine that he was still the, the remember the Magnifero was very hot-headed he was not concerned at all with civilian casualties now Imagine a Leah, there is no way to curb it. There's no that self-sacrifice, that initial good person that is Mike in the center of it all. His spirit was very domineering and holding back the magnifier a lot. I don't think Leo had the same type of spirit at that time. His evolved as time went on, kind of like Trakina's evolved as well. I think the Magnet Defender would have fully possessed and had full control and would have stayed alive and got the job done and would have been a questionably great character rather than the hero he later became in sa saving himself with Rika. Now, what do you guys think? In the, put it down in the comments below. Feel free to share. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Would this man defender been more, well, darker than he already was in the TV series because he's under influencing their Leo rather than Mike influencing the Magnet Defender? Well, let me know, guys. Have a good one, and may the power protect you always.